Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Con Candy's Darling Life. And today I have another great video for you. It's the Fall Obsessed Tag. And this tag was created by Shirley Obsessed. And if you don't know who she is, you need to go and check her channel out because she is so great. Um, she does a lot of like beauty um, videos and tags and different things like that. And uh, she's very cute, so I will put her um, YouTube uh, name down below and hopefully you guys will go check her out. She's the one that came up with this fall obsessed tag. She didn't actually tag me, but um, I, w I love fall, so I wanted to do this tag. To share with all of you so um, I'm just gonna get right into it there's uh, 12 questions and if you see me looking over this way it's because this is where my um, questions are okay so I'm gonna get right into it question one what is your favorite fall drink well um, my favorite fall drink would have to be um, spiced apple cider and I'm showing you this packet um, that I got at the Dollar Tree, but I actually like um, getting like real hot, real apple cider and um, making it into a, like a hot apple cider. Um, but this is what I have at the moment, so and this is uh, my favorite in the fall to drink. I do like the pumpkin, um, the ginger pumpkin spice latte, I think it is, um, at Starbucks. I do like that, but um, I would have to say apple hot apple cider, mold cider, whatever, is my favorite for the fall. So question two, what is your favorite, uh, question two, what is your favorite must-have beauty product in the fall? Well, I have to say, and I've already showed you guys these, um, but they're from Bath and Body Works, the Sweet Cinnamon Pug Pumpkin um, uh, Mist or Perfume or whatever you want to call it, and the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin Whip Shimmer Body Cream. I just love these and um, so yeah those would have to be my favorite fall um, beauty products and um, I've been using them for last year and I think since the year before so it'll be my third year and I just I just love these things so I'm hoping they'll keep coming out with this this product for the fall. Number three bold eyeshadow or bold lips? I would have to say probably bold eyeshadow just because I think um, it makes your eyes look, um, brings other people's eyes towards your eyes. I don't know if that makes any sense, but um, it makes like your eyes pop, and I kind of like that. So, um, so I would have to go with the bold eyeshadow over the bold lips. Number four, fuzzy socks or knee-high socks? I'd have to say I'm a knee-high socks kind of girl. Um, especially like in the fall and winter. I like the ones that go up to your knees and then you wear like the, you know, the shorter shorts or whatever, like in inside the house. Like I wouldn't do that outside or maybe in the summertime. But um, so to answer that, so knee high socks for me. Number five, what is your go to fall nail color? Well, I'm just kind of getting into, um, you know, nail polish and stickers and. Um, that kind of stuff. So I have uh, three polishes here that I probably I'm going to be using this fall. And I think my uh, my favorite one is this uh, Wet and Wild by Beauty Benefits nail polish. There's no color to it, but it's um it's got like uh, sparkles in it. It's really pretty. So that one, and then probably my second one would be um, this maybe Maybelline Color Show um, nail polish in Black Mirrors. I thought that was pretty pretty. I thought that was pretty. And then um, this one here. So those would have to be my picks for the nail polish for fall. Okay, uh, number six. What is your favorite fall candle? Oh, I love this question. My favorite fall candle is leaves. I just love it. And look at the new um, lids here. That's so cute. And oh my gosh, I didn't even really have to bring that to my nose because I can already smell it. I think I've told you guys before that I kind of like strong, stronger scents, um, so that my whole house smells like it. I just, I just love it. And this is, this is, to me, leaves is a fall in a jar. So I just love this. So if you're looking for a great fall candle, get this one at Bath, Bath and Body Works. Leaves, I just love it. 
All right, moving along. Number seven. Would you rather carve a pumpkin or go to a haunted house? This is kind of a hard question um, because, like, I do like haunted houses, but I, like, jump and scream very easily. Um, I just love to see how other people put, like, their haunted houses together. So I guess I'll say haunted houses, even though I'm kind of scared of them, um, instead of over carving a pumpkin, because I'm not really that creative when I come to carving pumpkins. I kind of just do your regular, like, triangle eyes and, like, a square nose and then the zigzag mouth kind of thing. My husband's more creative when it comes to carving a pumpkin. So I'll say the haunted house. Number eight, what is your favorite most watched Halloween movie? I think my favorite most hol uh, Halloween movie that I like to watch is the one um, with Bat Middler in it, and it's The Witches, Hocus Pocus, I think it's called. I'm actually trying to look for that movie. I'd like to buy and own it. Um, so I would have to say that movie, and I hope I'm saying, saying the title right. Um, number nine, do you have a favorite pie to eat on Thanksgiving? Well, I would have to say, like, my ultimate favorite pie is lemon meringue pie. But, since this is the fall obsessed steak, I'm going to say pumpkin pie with um, whipped cream, just because that's more like a fall and um, type of pie, and for Thanksgiving, it kind of goes better for that. So I'm going to say pumpkin pie with the whipped cream. I just love it, and as you guys already know, I did a... Um, a video on the pumpkin pie that you buy from the Dollar Tree so check my videos out to see how well that turned out and um, go get it because it was just amazing okay number 10 cardigans or sweaters and I'd have to say sweaters like I'm wearing a sweater today um, I know they have to like go over your head and kind of mess up your hair but I find that they keep you more cozy at least for me anyways than cardigans 11. During the fall season, do you dye your hair darker, lighter, or keep it the same? Okay, now I'm probably going to have people that don't believe me, but I'm sorry, I'm telling you the truth. I have never dyed my hair at all. This is my hair color, black. I'm sorry, it's all frizzy at the moment, but this is my hair color. I have never once ever in my life dyed it. So I would have to answer that question. I would have to just say keep it. I keep it the same. I just haven't had the need to dye it. I have some people come up to me and they're like, "Oh, do you dye your hair? What what color of black do you use?" And I'm like, "No, this is my natural color." So that is the the answer to that question. I keep it the same, and I guess I'm very lucky to have hair that I don't have to dye. I guess, but I'll probably have to dye it at some point because I'm starting to I'm getting older. I'm starting to get white hairs. <laughs> Anyways, last question, number 12. What is one thing that makes this fall different from last year? I have a couple answers to this question. Um, I guess my first answer would be probably that um, I'm doing YouTube. I wasn't doing YouTube last fall, and since I've started doing YouTube, I've met some, so many wonderful ladies and friends on here. Um, you just, you guys don't know how much it's um, helped me in my life to have met all of you. You guys are just wonderful, and I can't believe, you know, there's such great, wonderful people out in this world, and I'm so very grateful to have met all of you. So thank you so much, and thank you for being so kind to me. And I guess another thing that would make this year, this fall different from last year would be um, probably that my grandma is not here with me. Um, she died at the end of March of this year, and I was very close with my grandma, and it's been kind of uh, difficult this year. Um, like, I'm, ho I'm hosting Thanksgiving at my house this year, and it's going to be kind of weird that she's not going to be um, with us, but I guess she'll be here in spirit, and um, she was a wonderful lady, and she was a wonderful grandmother, and I was so very fortunate to have her in my life. Um, so yeah, I guess those are the kind of the two uh, different things uh, this fall than last year. Anyways, that is the Fall Obsessed tag. I think those are all great questions. I think Shirley Obsessed here on YouTube, she did a wonderful 
um, she created a wonderful tag. I hope all of you will do it. I am not going to tag anybody. I just tag all of you who love fall and are obsessed with fall, just like myself and a lot of you out there are as well. So I'm going to tag all of you fall lovers out there to do this wonderful tag. And I hope you're all having a beautiful fall day. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And I'll talk to you in my next video, guys. Thank you so much. Bye.